Welcome to Dead by Daylight Bootcamp, where every Friday on Twitch, you hop into a voice chat with myself, and you practice against the community in a safe environment full of GGs and love. Today, we're looking at somebody who is playing the knight while a new killer with an ability that has loads of potential, it ends up not being a good ability to use that gets you a lot of pressure. But what do you think? Let's watch the footage and take a look. What are we in for today? What are we, what are we trying to dig into? First on the agenda would be like just general decision making, uh, chases. Uh, I was actually hoping to uh, play the knight. Ooh, okay. The knight is particularly difficult to play right now. So, okay. And then in terms of our survivors, um, how hard do you want them to go? Do you I, I would say, yeah, generally just a normal, normal game. Uh, okay, cool. Did get a tough map, but that's okay. All right, so typically I would take a look around and figure out what gens are. Are there any clusters of generators? Are there any gens that are just like completely isolated? So it seems like your clusters kind of back that corner maybe. So ideally mm. those would be, you know, if you could get quite a few people hooked together over there, you'd want to try to defend that area a little bit. So, so yeah, coming back to this one was a good idea. Which, uh, catch Carnifex. I don't know if he catches her, which is a problem I I have with the ability. I check every day. I put but, my whole finger in there. So you might go around the other direction. Good down. Or good pallet break. He chases for so long. It's nice. Okay, he's gone. All right, is anyone on shit shack gen? No. That's all so bad. this is one of my problems: is not knowing when to break a chase. Like, I think yeah, this is see, a good like, time. To break. Um, yeah, people are gonna be on gens at the beginning of the match. That's just kind of how it is. But you got a really strong pallet out of the way, and you got that breakable door out. At this point, it, it's probably a good idea. Um, you know, to, to patrol around. You know that the gen in the road, the gen in shack, and that basement gen over there were all clear. So you, you kind of have some control over this area. Um, so it's not bad to, to break away and double check some stuff. Okay, good job uh, tracking these scratches. I think that's really phenomenal. I think a lot of people would have got tripped up there. That's Nancy, so she's she's gonna be a stronger looper, but I'm gonna put you to the test. Okay, so good hit, especially on controller. That was very good. All right, let's see what she does here. Yeah, this is. So we can talk a little bit about the knight's usage here, because I think you have the right concept, but not. Uh, it's not being utilized quite the right way. <laughs> Straight through the blind, it's okay. So, fun fact, when you're blinded, you don't actually lunge as the killer. You just do, like, a basic swipe. Um, you, so you don't make any distance. So typically, if you're blinded, just try to listen for where they are, and then just try to keep track of their location that way. Um, or even, like, loop them that way <laughs> in some cases, but... You're doing really well, actually. You're leagues ahead of where you made yourself out to be, so. Like Thank you. Oh, no, of course, of course. All right. So Shaq's busted, but that's okay. It's not the end of the world. You're still in the middle of a good three here. Oh, go kick that gen behind you. Oh. Yep. Damn it. That one comes from just getting used to listening. Like, I think I have nightmares about the sounds of gens almost completed, so that's just something you'll get used to over time. But I caught that audio, and, and they were smart enough to know they could do it right in front of you. So this gen has mm. no progress. Interesting. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> Good job not instantly breaking it and, and knowing that she ran away. 
Now, are you familiar with this map, like, really well? Uh, in terms of, uh, like, if I had to rank the different maps, this would definitely not be in the upper, <laughs> upper tier of comfort. Okay, okay. Uh, you maneuver like it's something that's a little new to you. You're not sure where, like, some of the halls go and stuff like that. So, you know, I, I didn't want to assume that. Good call out. Good call out. I think they know what you're rocking here. Of course, somebody else was... Somebody else was over there crouching behind a wall, so that's... Oh. <laughs> I promise you... <laughs> it would be better just to try to track them and, and keep up with them. <laughs> it's a good yeah, idea. Just yeah. like, Ooh, what is this? There was another survivor. Why are they here? That was wild. Um, I, I was worried that was going to be a flashlight or something. Um, yeah, if, if you get blinded, unless that survivor messes up deeply, which some some might, but as you like get better, they will not. Um, so just try to keep after them if you can. All right, let's see if anyone's back here hiding again. Nope. They're not close enough anyway. So they are healing uh, under the hook, actually. Not a bad idea. I chased her off. I don't know if there's a second person there, so. Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah, good stuff. Really good work. Okay. Yeah, if there was a second person, I think they would they would have just popped it, so. Good stuff. You can pincer her maybe between the two of you. Good work. There you go. <laughs> the whole squad's here. What are, what are we doing, gang? Okay. There's a good hit. Watch out because we know there's... I don't like this spot. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah, good thinking being aware. Okay, so there's Brian on two gens. This is smart. This will help with... Maybe keeping them out. Oh, maybe when the jailer goes back, but there's no one around. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, they'll be. Yeah, you should be able to get the pick up here at least now. Oh, just oh. kidding. Oh, what a nightmare. <laughs> what a nightmare of people. All right, no mither November. Uh, definitely. It's okay. They might dead hard, so just be careful. Just be a little patient. You got this. Yeah. Just like, it's like three steps more. <laughs> nice, there you go. Now, they picked up behind you, so. I'm, yeah. I'm cringing. I'm cringing. Okay. Woo. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, the slugs. Yeah, that was a dicey one. <laughs> yeah, the slugs were behind you, so I was like, they might pick up and then instantly come over. Very risky maneuver. And then we want to check that gen. Yeah, because we know they got back on it. Because that Yunjin knows that it's almost done, so. You know. Oh, that's the assassin. The small, small to mid. Now, while chasing her, I think someone's going to go finish that gen. So it's mm. bird in the hand sort of scenario. It's, it's hard to tell what is the right play. But I believe when you kicked it, I saw two auras. Yes. So. Ooh. And Nancy got hit, too. All right. We're seeing a little bit of some of the knight come out. The knight's, the ability for the knight is so difficult to use. Okay. Uh. Good job there. Maybe send the jailer out that way. It, it might be too late, but nothing else. else around they are long gone silvers okay there we go there we go someone to your right as well on the other side of the fence damn good pickup <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where they went I I know I heard them <laughs> Chad I'm not crazy right um Okay. 
interesting. Uh, they probably went to, yeah, I was going to say, I would set up maybe a patrol, let it do its thing, and then go see where they're healing at, because they, they're definitely resetting somewhere. Um, on the other, yeah, on, like, maybe this side. Oh. Ooh, I hear them in the building, yeah. What are they doing? Oh, they threw the pallet. Oh, they're behind you, yeah, to your left. Somebody came back <sighs> right after Carnifex left. Or they, as, as and that, that's the problem I have with the patrols. The, the, often the patrols will walk away and give a lot of space. It's very difficult. Good call, that should catch. No, they backed out in time. Ugh, pain. That's one of the pain points of the night is if they see that, because they can see you placing that trail as you launch it, so they can just move preemptively. By the time the, the ghost actually spawns, pops up, the terror radius, or the, the radius pops up, by the time all that happens, they can make enough distance to get away. It's, it's very tough. Ah. GG's. Good stuff. Yeah, really good stuff. I think... I think I think there was a lot of good in there. This map is also <laughs> notoriously difficult, but uh, good stuff, good attitude, and, and really, like like I said, you're you're quite a bit ahead of, um, unlike a lot of the basics, the, where I think a lot of people would be. Pain. Nice. Extra destruction points. Um, <laughs> at least you get, you, you know, maybe another a, a final chase with, with you in here, so. Mm. Ooh, barely. The jailer's... The jailer has a bigger radius than anyone else, so he can, he can kind of pick up where others can't. Damn. <laughs> Completely <laughs> yeah. lost some there. Damn it. Oh, hello. <laughs> now, next time you run them into the building, if you if you do, I don't know if they'll leave it. If you run them into it, I would launch a guard from the outside instead of from the inside. Oh, I think she's going to leave. Okay. We can talk about that here in a bit, though. Nope, she's just <laughs> she's willing oh. to give you the chases <laughs> to die for it. Aww. Aww. <laughs> GG's in chat, Thank everybody. You. Nice. Thank you. Nice guy. It was mean doing this, but <laughs> I know. <laughs> if it was solo queue, maybe. <laughs> uh, nice. Absolutely you know. Mark, thank you, my friend. Get out of here. GG's to everybody that participated. The night is a hard killer. We're going to talk about it. So, um, general killer stuff. There's there's not too many, like, point there's a few things that um, I, I think are worth pointing out. And I, we talked about it a little bit, but uh, on on maps, it's important to know, like, where your clusters kind of are. And, and so you had, like, you know, the, the shack and then um, these and then this one. So, I, you know, we talked about that. We don't need to really address it too much. But um, the thing is, I think you spawned, like, here-ish. Um, which means that no survivor is going to spawn within a certain radius of you. Somebody could have spawned here, um, but uh, I believe they most of them spawned actually in the basement here. So um, just anytime you play killer, knowing, okay, where did I spawn? So if this is the whole map and you spawn in one corner, nobody's really going to spawn in this whole corner. Somebody might spawn out here, out here, out here. Um, you know, if you spawn in the middle of like a good cluster... Okay, you can't stay there and just not do anything, but knowing like to come back to it later and keep checking and stuff so you can keep up pressure. Um, so talking about night specific night stuff. Um, so I think you have the right idea here and we saw this a little bit later in the match, um, but the idea of just throwing down a night and hoping that they run into it. Um, so you have the right concept um, and here it happens to work. It didn't need to work. Um, and what I kind of mean by that is as you placed the uh, as you placed the knight here, I think 
I think Aryun wasn't quite sure what was happening. But when you place the knight down, the survivors can hear you. Um, your terror radius disappears. So as you, you know, you take a knee and you send out your um, orb, if you will, um, you lose a terror radius for a second. And a lot of survivors are already getting to the point to where they hear your terror radius go away and they're automatically like, cool, I know what's about to happen. And so when you're placing this, the Yoon could have actually gone the other direction. Um, so like they were they were right here, they could have just left entirely, which means that your knight wouldn't have done anything. And that's that's kind of the problem with the knight right now is it, it's a heavy investment to use the power. But in this case, it worked out, not, not the end of the world. Um, and as you chase her down, the, the knight is really good for pincer attacks, right? So if you have an obstacle, the, the, the ghosts, if you will, um, they're gonna follow the survivor path directly like always, they're never gonna cut the survivor off. Um, they they are programmed to follow directly behind the survivor exactly to a T. So if you have a survivor that runs around an obstacle, um, big dumb dumb Carnifex is gonna just do the same thing. Um, what that kind of means is that you have to be the pressure and you have to be like, okay, I'm gonna push around because I know Carnifex is gonna follow directly. I need to push around the other side. Um, that way there's some pressure to take a hit. So in this case, as you go downstairs, you follow her directly. I would have gone because Carnifex is going to follow her down and they can walk through pallets. So her throwing the pallet won't stop anything. I would have gone this way. That way, if she hesitates, she gets hit by him. If she runs into you, she gets hit by you. If that makes some sense. Mm -hmm. Catching the scent of someone else. Not a big deal here. Um, good chase. And really, this M1 was great for, for console right here so in this case with the window um kind of what we talked about earlier where the the guards will only chase someone um the the exact path that they went so if somebody runs this way um then the guard's going to just run directly after them so if for some reason you did catch her here the guard would run after her and she would hold w and she could hold W down and around the other side of the building and reason for her to come back into its radius, right? So you send it out and then it does its ghosty thing and, woo, and then the radius pops up, but she's going to be long gone. So she won't even get caught by it. Um, what I, uh, so she vaults. Yeah. And then there's no real reason for her to come back. Um, so this is the ideal tile to actually use the night, right? Um, you have a pallet, mm -hmm. you have a car and in this case, um, it's really important to kind of know that this is the edge of the map and then behind the school is the edge of the map. So ideally what you would do is the knight. And this is really, really tough because it's kind of, again, most people are just gonna hold W, but you could rotate and chase her around the car a bit and then throw down one of, and ideally you would want to be pushing her directionally into the corner of the map. You wouldn't want to rotate, uh, so like right here, for for instance, if you place a knight here, she gets to run all the right way there. back to the My shack. Whole finger in there. All the way back to this corner. She can run all the way over here. She can go anywhere in the map she wants, right? Um, the only other thing that uh, is this loop. This is the only like other comment I had. Um, so loops like this, you can eat the pallet for sure. This is what we call unsafe loops. Um, it'd be, they're unsafe because you you really can't like this is it this is the loop is a tree and a bush and a few blocks and a pallet so typically you could do a few things here there's a lot of techniques there's a lot of mind games i won't go into all of them here but typically you don't have to just eat the pallet um you can't moonwalk here right i'm gonna go ahead and say that i think we all know what moonwalking is you cannot moonwalk where the survivor can see your whole body <laughs> so before anyone's like he should moonwalk don't do that um but you you can do a few things. You can you can you know loop around once and then double back and then maybe even double back again. You're really trying to get the survivor to lose a little momentum so you can gain just a little bit to get that swing. Um, we saw how close your swing was. If you got them to like hesitate once, that could have been game. Um, honestly, I I like the knight. I like playing the knight, um, and I'm going to continue to use the ability even if it's a total pain in the ass. So. Um, <coughs> I think I think you did great. Uh, tons of GGs in chat, um, and I Thank hope you. that there was good Appreciate stuff in it. here. Of course, man.